Alright everyone, welcome to what is going to be a new series in this channel that I'm very happy to bring you. It's going to be called Smack Talk. The series is basically going to be me, Sean McLevy, also known as Smack, to my friends. Uh, just talking about a bit of everything and absolutely anything. This is not going to be a podcast, it's going to be like a podcast, but in and around 10 minute episodes. I'm going to try to keep it strict to 10 minutes, but if it's not 10 minutes, uh, oh well, it's my show, I can do what I want. <laughs> no one's going to tell me off for it. But hopefully, yeah, I'll keep it to 10 minutes, so not drag on too long, and not keep it super short. And again, just discussing any topics going on whatsoever. What's going on in my life, what's going on around me, shows, uh, plans for the future, things that have happened, anything at all goes here. So, without further ado, we'll get stuck right into it. So, I guess the first thing to talk about is what I've been up to, what I've been doing. So, each day has been pretty much the same, starting to roll into one now. It's been a matter of get up at half 11, 12 o'clock every day, get your breakfast, brunch, brinner even, if you want to call it that, and a cup of tea, probably going through about 10 cups of tea a day maybe, which I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but it's supposed to keep me hydrated. And then after that it's a shower and clean up and then try to put on some fresh clothes every day just to make it fit me, the day's not all blend into one really. And then after that I guess what I do is bit of work maybe well xbox or uni work or some form of wee activity take me up to dinner time and then maybe out for a walk and i don't want this to turn into a complaining show but my biggest pet hate and it's really put me off doing walks at the minute is when you're out for a walk i don't know if this is just an ironing thing or what it is but when i'm out for a walk i want to go for a walk clear my head not have to think about anything but whenever i'm walking and you're on the footpath and you see someone coming say just the other side and they're coming towards you for some reason, in Ireland, I think it is, they're just culture, you have to say hello to everybody, and nothing does my head more. I don't want to look the ground to be rude. You look like, if they're especially if they're adults, you have to sort of be like, hi, well, <laughs> good day, and make some stupid comment. Just let me get on my walk, don't say anything to me, and just let me motor on. I, I know people want to chat and be friendly, but <sighs> I just couldn't be bothered with it. I just want to go for my walk, and that's that. In terms of exercise and fitness, I've pretty much given up on it. The other day I went for a run, <laughs> I got two kilometres in and took this like insane pain on in my chest. It literally felt like someone just taking a needle and just went hey, yeah! straight into me. It, I was just thinking like, my dad told me all these stories of people he knows. He goes, oh, Jimmy Bob was a fantastic runner, but one day he took a pain in his chest one day and bang, out like a light, he was dead, cardiac arrest. And I was like, yeah, no, that's not going to be me, so would. I walked the rest, turned around and came straight home again, and since I haven't been out for a run, like, no, no chance, I'm not, that, not only is that a terrible way to go, it's pretty embarrassing, like, I went for a run and died, like, that's, <laughs> oh, no, I can't be dealing with anything like that, and then exercises around the house, I've just given up on, because it's gotten cold outside, and I just couldn't really be bothered, one of them people, if I shower for the day, I'm not going to do any exercise, because I can't be bored sweating again, what's the point, it's, Lazy attitude, but hey, is is what it is. Uh, I guess apart from exercise and fitness, I've been doing. I've been trying to dip in and out of Netflix. I'm not a big TV person. Like shows I watched before, I've watched like Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones. Don't not going to talk about Breaking Game of Thrones. Do not worry. <sighs> anyway, um, but one thing I was recommend to watch and I did watch was The Tiger King and let me tell you something, that show is amazing. If you haven't watched it, do yourself a favour and put it on because you'll be introduced to the best and worst, well depending on what your view is, <laughs> character in a TV series of all time, Joe Exotic. The, I think they're from Texas, Hillbilly, fuck, uh, Mohawk, just absolutely amazing. The show just takes so many twists, so many turns. It's just, honestly, it's very hard to put into words. But the mad, one of the maddest things, among many things around it, is the fact that this man, Joe Exotic, who owns the Tiger Kingdom, or is the Tiger King, turned two straight men fully gay for him. Like, <laughs> why? I don't know. This, these people must have really loved tigers, like, like, because, oh my God. Also, one of the guys he actually married, like, I'm not gay myself, Joe Exotic couldn't even turn me gay, but one of the guys he married was a meth head and lost all his teeth, and they've shown pictures of him now that he's got his teeth put back in, I don't know, he must have paid a fortune from the Netflix series, he got all his teeth put back in, 
Not a bad looking lad, but in the TV series, honestly, the tide wouldn't take him out. It is so, so, so funny. Uh, and also the other thing is, my belief, you can argue with me if you want, Carol Baskin, that lady, hey all you cool cats and kittens, her, she 100% murdered her husband. There's no doubt in my mind, the, the evidence is there. Well, that's obviously not there, they didn't arrest her, but she 100% murdered her husband. Like, that woman was too clever. She knew exactly what she was doing and came away with all the money So from the husband's settlement. So, like, she knew what she was doing. It had to be, even, even this is how bad, you know, it is, how guilty she is. O.J. Simpson made a video on Twitter talking about the Tiger King, and he said he is convinced that Carol Baskin fed her husband to the Tigers. <laughs> If O.J. Simpson's accusing you of murdering your own spouse, you are guilty, 100%. The man's the expert in it. He knows everything to do and what not to do in it. So, Carol, I'm sorry. O.J. said you're guilty, and I'm saying you're guilty too. You did it. <laughs> I didn't personally, but the other thing, we've been watching um, Disney Plus in my house. I have two sisters, and at this stage, if you're a white girl and you haven't downloaded Disney Plus yet, what are you doing? It's what it's how you're gonna survive the rest of your life with Disney Plus. And we watched as a family, weirdly enough, midday midday movie, two o'clock midday movie, we watched Lady and the Tramp. The real life version, which honestly doesn't really sit too well in me because it's a real life version. So the one I mean look real and the animals look real, it's not clearly not a cartoon, it's real people and whatnot. But the animals talk. So where do you set the boundaries for these real life things, you know? And the other thing, and this is not meant to be taken anywhere racist, but the movie's set in a time frame where it's olden days and Disney are trying to be too politically correct and things I guess really bother me. It's a very, very old st style and time, time period when they're recording this and for some reason they have like the white rich man marrying like the black woman, which to me just, that doesn't make any sense. That's not politically, that's not what would have happened back then. You know, it would have been a white man marrying a white woman. These things would never have happened. Also, they've taken one of the main character dogs in it, Jock, who in the cartoon is a strong Scottish masculine character, and turned him into a female and called him Jockling. Like, why? Just leave him a fella. I don't think anyone was too upset with that, you know? Just leave it. Why, why all this political correctness? Crap. Just stick to what it is. Um, and apart from that, I think... I think that's basically it. I think that's all I've really been doing. Uh, as I said, I want to keep this series sort of short. I don't want to be a rant show and me complain about obviously everything. It might have seemed that way for this episode, but we are cooped up. We are fined. Uh, this, these series are going to keep going as long as this isolations come along. Uh, unfortunately for me, I was meant to actually have gigs all over Northern Ireland during this two week period that we're currently going through. I had two gigs in De in Belfast, which I was really looking forward to. One of them was in the Sunflower, which was quite a, quite a well-known spot and quite a lot of people go to it. It's been sold out the last few times. It got canceled. And then I had a gig up in Derry, which would have been a lot of fun as well, a really good room. And another room in Oma, which is fairly new and would have been a lot of fun as well. I got up and try some stuff. So the plan was to do videos along with it. It didn't, it clearly can't happen now because every gathering is abandoned and closed. So I'm trying my best to make do here, uh, talk about some other stuff here, not keeping it strictly to the, the sad times of forcing we're in, but hopefully you've enjoyed this video, hopefully we'll be back on, up and running soon, and don't worry, I've been working hard and creating more content, and hopefully bring you some really good stand-up stuff whenever we're back open again. And I'm pretty sure the way them gigs are going to work is they're going to just roll on from where they left off. So it'll only be a couple of weeks and whenever we're open again and I shall be hitting the stage somewhere near, hopefully you soon. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. It's coming up to 10 minutes. If you have liked, please hit the button down below. If you enjoyed, leave a wee comment. And if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed yet because 80% of you haven't, yes, I see the stats, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. We're hit a quarter of 100 people so far and I'm delighted with that so far, but if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. And again, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.